Okay, the letter O today. That was a bad O. Let's try again. Okay, the letter O. The letter O is pronounced, of course, O or ha ha. Mm. Now, most people have a huge problem with this because they confuse it with un or un if you prefer. Now, listen to me very carefully. It is not the same. <coughs> Excuse me. In this first case, let me put the music down. In this first case, you say un mm. and you make your mouth like well an asshole basically mm. <laughs> i'm sorry if little kids are watching this um there are gonna be some bad words so be advised mm. again the sound is behind the nose mm. and this here is oh you open your mouth as if you're going to say ah but you keep it in. Oh. Mm. Do you hear the difference? Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. I know it's hard. We're going to have a lesson uh, soon with me pronouncing it on camera to show you my mouth. But basically, oh mm is exactly like the O. Oh. And ah, oh. okay. These are supposed to be eyes. <laughs> they look like shit. Anyway, this is the nose, supposedly. Oh, mm. ah, oh. okay. So, uh, no, un enfant, remember what we saw in the other lessons, enfant, same sound, different way of writing it, which means a child, and it could be un enfant or un enfant, depending if you're talking about a, um, a female child or a male child, un enfant, Mange. Again, same sound. Okay. Un. And here we go. Bon. Bon. Which means a candy. Une enfant mange un bonbon. Try it with me. Une. Enfant, good, mange un bonbon. Pon, pon. Remember what we said about when there's a P, you put an M? Uh, here is an exception. It should have an M, but it's an exception. Un pompon. Un garçon. If you wonder why we're putting this little thing here, we will learn it pretty soon, but not today. Um, une boisson. Okay? So, on, 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 on. Un, un, un. Une enfant mange, a child eats, un bonbon, a candy, a piece of candy, un pompon, a pompon, <laughs> that should be hard to digest, un garçon, a boy, or a waiter, depending, 
une boisson, which is a beverage. Now, why I wrote boisson is because here is the next thing I wanted you to see. O with E, unless there is an exception, is pronounced wa. Or if you want in English, wa. So, you have un bois, which is a forest. But it's also du bois. You notice that we don't say the S. And the S doesn't mean that it's plural. So, du bois is wood. Je bois, you're going to hate me now, means I drink. Une boisson. I drink a beverage. Un bois, du bois, je bois, une boisson. So, going back to O. O is O. Is O is O. Okay. Wa or wa. It's the same as un, and it's not to be confused with en or en. Okay, so let's read together. How would you read this? How would you read this? How would you read this? Shall we uh, try it? Okay. This here, we didn't see it, but it's easy. It's un... Don't rem remember to do the liaison. Un ours. It's one of the few times that you actually pronounce the last letter. And it means a bear. Un ours. Little kids call their teddy bear a nounours. Nounours. I know I'm writing like a pig. I'm so sorry. A nounours. Okay? A nounours, a nounours. How would you read this? Remember that sound here? Do you pronounce the D? Do you make a liaison? Think about it. If you said un fond, you were right. If you said un fond, you were wrong. Un fond, and it means the bottom of the pot or the background of, a, of an image. Un fond. It gives a perspective of depth. Of, yeah, of depth. Un fond. Bon garçon, a good boy. And here, what do we have here? Un beau garçon. Do you hear the difference? Un bon garçon. Everything is happening in the inside of the throat and behind the nose. Un bon garçon. And here it's un beau. This here happens at the lips. Beau, beau, un beau garçon, un beau garçon, un bon garçon, un beau garçon, un beau garçon. Un bateau, we've seen this before, which means a boat. Un ba 
temps. There is a huge difference and I know you might not hear it. I really do. Most of my students don't. And we spend at least two lessons working on it together. They record it, they go home, they try to hear it, they try to identify it. Once you can identify it, you have won the, the battle. So, let me try to say it again. Un bateau, un bâton, un bateau, un bâton. which is a piece of wood, a branch, or a cane. Uh, actually, no, not a cane, un bâton. So, again, un bateau, un bâton. Un cadeau, which is a present. Un cadeau, un chaton, a kitty, a kitten, actually. So, this is your challenge with a O. Your challenge is not to confuse this sound with this sound and this sound with this sound. Shall we try once again? Oh. Un. Un. Okay. And to finish the confusion. And these are basically the <coughs> the challenges you have to um, overcome in French. O, un, un, un. Once again. O, un, un, un. O. Oh, I didn't like that. Hold on. O. Un. 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 Repeat after me, please. This time, backwards. Un. 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 So, let's see some uh, words with O. And let's wrap this up. So, une boîte, which is a box. Un bonbon. Which is a piece of candy. Un ours. Which is a bear. And, sorry, I forgot uh, some, not exactly exceptions, but we don't see them very, very often. And that is... Oin. We use it for coin and coin. Actually, not for coin. I'm sorry. In French, coin means um, the corner. So, un coin, un point, which means a dot. Un coin, un point. This means uh, a dot. And this means a fist. Okay, and this means a corner. 
So, un coin, un point, un point. Okay? And we also have which is only for a few words when the e and the o are together and they just make the sound e an oeuf which is an egg un coeur which is a heart and in this case those two are stick together but it's just the exception you don't need to bother yourself with this for the moment. So, shall we recap the letters we learned today? Try to read it before I even start. Un bonbon. Un garçon. The background music is really shit. Sorry, whoever you are. Un garçon. Un enfant. Une boîte. Un point. Un point. Un ours. Un oeuf. Un coeur. Let's play a little game. That's a box, by the way. And that's a fist. That's an egg. Oh, I have to change that music. Um, a dot. A child and a boy. Forgive me a second, I really need to change the music. Oh, God. Okay, so let's um, <sighs> tell me what this is. Un point. Correct, we don't pronounce this. Which one is it? If you said this one, you were right. Un ours. Yes, again. Un oeuf. Oh, yes. It's the egg. Un coeur. Correct again. Or wrong. I don't know what you're doing. Un point. Yes, it's the dot. Une boîte. Of course, it's the box. Un enfant, or une enfant, in this case, since it's a little girl. Yes. Un garçon. Correct. Et un bonbon. Perfect. This concludes our lesson for today. We still have the um, E to go, and the U, and we're kind of done. After that, we will see 
um, a few verbs and a few, um, I don't know how it's called in English, but, you know, behind, on top, uh, in between. And then we will start making little sentences. And once you have achieved 200 words of vocabulary, really well pronounced vocabulary, you will be able to um, make simple sentences and structures and then it's just a matter of adding vocabulary and exercising. Just a side note before we stop. Un bateau. Un bâton. A boat. A branch or a piece of wood. A stick. That's the word, a stick. Okay? Un bateau. Un bâton. Bon, which means tasty or good, kind, or beau, which means beautiful. That's it for the. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.